Welcome to an extra video over Demon Souls. Now, in earlier parts, Yami and I had some trouble actually getting into pure white world tendency. But luckily, black world tendency is really easy to get in, and he's going to show us how to get it. Yep. First step is to dress yourself as a Bloodborne character, and then kill yourself in body form. A lot. Spill your blood. Yep. Each death will bring you one step closer to black world tendency. Once you get there, the little icon on the top right will be black, and if you go to the pause screen, the stone monument menu will be black as well. But Black World Tendency does effectively the same thing in every set of worlds. There will be one new Black Phantom fight, and that's this. You already saw Executioner Meralda in human form, but now we have to fight her with a Black Phantom. She is much stronger and has much more health. Yes. There's also just random regular enemies that are Black Phantoms. They're a lot stronger too, but more specifically, there will be a Black Phantom NPC somewhere. Right. She drops the guillotine axe, which is actually a pretty decent axe. The other thing that happens in Black World Tendency is a primeval demon will spawn in one place in every world. These don't really do anything. Um, they can sort of attack you by trying to poke you with their fangs, but other than that, they are defenseless and have very little health. The primary reason to even bother these guys is we've gotten colorless demon souls before, but this is actually where they come from. Yep. So I believe you can get a total of eight in one playthrough. Five of these guys, two from the crows, and one from the little area behind Meralda. And also killing them, I think, on its own increases the, uh, the world tendency back to white. Not all the way back to white, but it goes up like one step. It actually puts it pretty much back to neutral. Oh. I believe killing the black phantom and killing them is three points on the scale each. So the rub being, I cannot return to the Nexus after doing one of them. Right. So to get from Meralda to the Black Phantom, or to the Primeval Demon rather, I had to walk through the entire world. That is the most annoying one though, since everything else is only two worlds and a boss, the most they can be is one world apart. Killing certain NPCs will also bring you towards Black World Tendency, which is why that merchant is gone. <laughs> he didn't have anything useful anyway. And he paid the price. So the colorless demon souls are really useful. They upgrade some of the best stuff in the game. Like my giant fuck off slab of metal. And the gate he and the dark silver shield, and the brushwood shield, and a bunch of other unique weapons. Well done. Now I once again have a plus five Dragon Bone Smasher. And a new friend. And glitching out. Oh yeah. Here's what Thorne was talking about with the random black phantom enemies. And world 2-1, you could still take two hits from this thing. Yeah. Yeah, that audio glitch was pretty much a guarantee that things are about to go very bad, so I had to restart the game. I feel like it's specifically a server lag. It's never happened before, not until this LP, at least as far as I've discovered, so I feel like it might be something that they all need to fix with the servers. I don't know. But here's our second Black Phantom fight. Scurver the Wanderer. Notice, uh, notice my blood stain there. Yeah, there's a reason. As you approach him, he will try to cast a spell. Do not let him cast that spell. It buffs his health, it buffs his damage, it buffs his magic damage, and those magic spells hurt. 
He's got a big fireball that he can do. If he catches me in that uh, right in front of him, I just die. So he's basically Jester Thomas. Yeah. But I can stun lock him because I'm a mean dick. But gives you the Talisman of Beasts, which is unique because you can use that as... Oh, you had to leave this bit in, didn't you? Well, there is a dude back there. There is. Um, you can use that talisman as both a catalyst and a talisman for spells and miracles, respectively. Oh, cool. But here is Black Phantom. Uh, it's actually Ridiel. Ridiel? Yep, the loading screen is wrong, but when he says his own name, it's not Rydell, it's Ridiel. He's really not much to write home about. I'm trying to hit you with the pole. Yeah, it hurts, but not that much, all things considered. One of the weirder weapon animations. Yeah, and it's also strange that he's got a punching weapon in his left hand. Oh, yeah. I've never seen him actually use it. But he drops his pole which is a decent uh, magic scaling weapon. I can't exactly remember where you get that punching weapon. Um, I think you should just buy it from, like, the Dredgling Merchant in 1-1. Or at least very early on. It's not too much useful. No. And we're up to Tower of Latria. We were up to Tower of Latria. Now we're down at Tower of Latria. Yes, we are below the Tower of Latria. Man, there's a lot of these things. Yep, and Black World Tendency only adds more. Well, not that much harder. If you are going for a Black World Tendency, I would recommend waiting till you're almost done with the game, unless you really want a specific reward. Because it does also lower your max health in soul form. Not by much, only by a couple percentage points, but it also lowers your damage and raises enemy damage. Which is what makes the Black Phantom fights even harder. Hey, buddy, you want the sword back now? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, fuck this guy. Now, here's some I did keep in. Yep. He hits like a truck. Like a very angry truck with a very big sword. That one was interesting, because he just sort of stood there. I wasn't sure what he was doing. And then he I got a friend. I do enjoy when he gets back up. Yep, so <laughs> I would say on a one-to-one -one basis this is one of the harder Black Phantom fights. Yeah, he's also one of the only Black Phantoms I can distinctly remember fighting. Mostly because he's a motherfucker. I did kind of have to stun lock him myself. Yep. Yeah, speed this shit up. It takes forever. <laughs> yeah, this is before I realized that I had access to Second Chance. If you watch the old King Doran video, I use that to great effect. He drops his sword, hiltless, a katana that hurts you when you use it. Because you're literally holding the blade. Yep. That's not a unique drop for him. You can just find that laying about elsewhere in the game. Yeah. This is another fun thing. I kept this in to show that there is a red phantom skeleton hanging out around here. 
Yeah. And also because you didn't stick around to try to fight him later. You just sort of left him alone. Yeah, I took the cheaty shortcut. To find this one, uh, he's not too far off. If you remember where we got the white bow, this is pretty much where that is. Goodbye, Crystal Lizard. Uh, for some reason, this guy's taking a couple hits. Don't know why. Whatever, he's dead now. Get me the fuck out of here. I'm tired of Manta Rays. And you get hit as you try to escape. Well, this is fun. Yep. Uh, the last two things are both in the swamp and not too far apart. But it brings with it Black Phantom Giant Depraved. Fuck Black Phantom Giant Depraved. Fuck regular Giant Depraved. Yeah, I know. Those are bad enough. I hate them. I've never been good at fighting them. Here we go. Just over the bridge into the second half of the swamp is our Black Phantom. It's Selen Vinland. She is very special. Notice I'm not bothering with my seat shield. She has blind. It is a sword that just goes right through shields like they're not even there. Which is rude. It is rude as hell. I'm trying to bait her onto dry land. Got a very acrobatic move set. It does. It's um I think it's a scimitar move set. Uh, sushi. Yep, she doesn't have healing items. She has healing spells. So, my only choice is to try and figure out how to chain her. She, eh, compared to some of the others, she doesn't have that much more health. No, not really. It's mostly blind in the fact that you can't roll in the swamp. And she can. And lastly, over here, somewhere, is the last primeval demon. Finding that will be an exercise for the viewer, because... Fuck Black Phantom Giant Depraved. And that's everything for Black World Tendency. Yep. Let's get the hell out of here. Bye.